uh, I just thought I'd make a, a quick video of this. Um, what I've done is I, I swapped out the... I can't even find it now. Here it is. I swapped out my little two minute aerial and I put in this particular. Um, now I don't know the length of this, I can imagine it's quite long. Um, but for the AM reception I understand that you need quite a long antenna anyway. But you can you know you can coil it up and that's that's what's happened here. You've got a long length of wire on here. And we do get a better reception. Now this variable capacitor is I think it's from about two two point seven pico to four hundred and six. Four hundred and five, four hundred and six pico. I think that that's wider, that's um, more capacitance variation that's needed for the AM frequency, the general AM frequency that's picked up. I don't know that 100%, I just saw that on a lot of these other variable capacitors, they don't have as much capacitance. I did see somewhere on the internet that somebody said they got 100 nanofarad, but I don't think they've put that down correctly, I think they meant picofarad. That's a lot of capacitance. Anyway, <clears throat> so, perfectly quiet system, it's all on. Um, and down at this end, I don't normally get anything. Um, when the capacitor is all the way to the other side nearly is where I get a few stations In this end I don't normally get anything But do you remember this? That's right. I, I haven't sort of piece of the wire off it yet because I thought I might use it for this uh, For that one, but I forgot when I was doing it, but this is a ferrite core and if I put this in here And just put it partially in I get a station that I wouldn't get without it. Because if I take that out, even this this thing is a carbon rod. <clears throat> I've got two of these, and I made a magnesium type, you know, air battery. But even if I put this in, I can't get that other station. There's something just there, but I take my hands away and, and it goes. And if I pop this in, I pop this ferrite in. And there we go. So there's an extra station that I don't normally have without that. And just for to do this. That's all the way down to the bottom part. And if I turn the volume up a little bit more. So we don't miss anything. Pretty slowly just go through this range on the capacitor. I thought I heard something there. So I can I can definitely hear something there, but I'm just gonna carry on going without it first. decided what to do. Incredible, so a huge gap then between the scale of the abuse reported and the action schools are taking in response. Let's bring back uh, Dr. Carleen Fermin from the University of Bedfordshire. Carleen, uh, you were nodding away there. And, and you, I suppose, the way you have to see it is an opportunity to really shine and put pressure on him whereby maybe eventually you'll take his place because we you know if you're good we'll get rid of him on the shot we have no right well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping this is going to happen with anything for gigs you know tv that i'll replace that is uh, absolutely everything really do you yes, um i i hate to isn't a strong enough uh word Oh, yes, 
So, anyway, there we go. A bit longer length on the aerial. Um, that certainly makes a difference, improves radio station reception. Um, playing around with a bit of ferrite core, maybe if I took the wire off, I'd have a different effect. Um, I think I'll do that in a bit. Probably won't make a video of it. Um, but there we go. Such a simple little AM receiver. And that's all there is to it. And of course then just bump it up with the amplification, but you don't need to do that really. You can put a little headphone on this and hear something. <coughs> hmm. There you go. Thanks for watching.